Hey folks, I'm uh, streaming again. Uh, so he says. So I am going to be playing uh, the Thursday night three hour game, 24 boards, um, three hours long. And uh, it's again, sort of a, a replacement of the old Rosedale Club game that used to exist in Toronto. Um, and uh, I don't know how many pairs are going to be part of it, but uh, I hope it's a good game. And I'm looking forward to uh, improving on my results from the Tuesday game that I played against the Hart House Club. Uh, I streamed that game. You might have seen it. If you saw it, I hope you enjoyed the stream. So here uh, looks like Ilad and Eric are my opponents. I'm playing with Alad. So here I have, um, I have to decide what I want to do with this hand. So we play a week no trump, but with Ilad uh, opening, I can't bid. So I'm going to pass. And uh, we'll see how much uh, we get to defend. So uh, yeah, so Alad and I play a variable no trump range. And so with a balance 10 to 12, including some sort of semi-balanced shapes, we'll open that one no trump. Alad's coming in with a double here. This double, of course, is takeout. And here, um, I see no need to bid, uh, given that I don't have a four card suit besides South's suit. Um, I'm happy to defend one no Trump. Um, against one no Trump, I'll likely lead my Jack of Diamonds, which is a Rusino lead. So South bidding three spades here. I think most people play that as an invitational raise. Uh, things get interesting because I do have four spades, but they're to the 10. And uh, I wonder what the defense is going to be. Obviously, I can't double. Alad will double there aggressively to compete because I'm a past hand. Um, so I don't know if we're beating four spades, but I definitely have more than Alad might expect. So the two of clubs is a third and low lead from length. So given Alad's double, uh, well, north had bid clubs. I'm sitting east, Alad's sitting west. Uh, he probably has three clubs to an honor. Uh, maybe the king. He might also have five clubs, but I'm guessing it's three. So I don't see anything wrong with playing the ace here and then playing back a club. The alternative is to switch to the queen of diamonds, hopefully set up a diamond trick, maybe knock out dummies entry in case there's late pitches on the hand. Um, so what I'm going to do, and I think that's probably the best line actually, win my ace of clubs, switch to the queen of diamonds. Alad may or may not have the ace of diamonds, but I want to do some work on getting rid of that king. If Alad is paying attention to the bidding, he's unlikely to uh, put me with four diamonds because with the ace of clubs and four diamonds to the queen jack, there's a non-zero chance that I'm bidding over, um, that I'm bidding over one no trump. So he's doing some calculations right now. Um, if he has four diamonds, he might just uh, duck. With five, he has to think about it. Um, and with six, he would win his ace. Um, let's see what he continues with. Um, he's continuing with a nine of diamonds here. So that tells me that uh, he might have, um, he might have started with three diamonds, interestingly. So here, uh, I'm going to put the uh, 10 of spades on that because I actually have the ace of hearts. I want to tell him that. And we play uh, suit preference here in the trump suit. Alad played the two of spades, but I don't expect him to have any other spades. So this jack is going to hold. Alad's going to discard an odd card to encourage or an even card to discourage. And the even card implies some suit preference. So the odd diamond um, might be his, his last diamond. I'll win my 10 here, and then I have a decision to make. Or I won't win the 10. And uh, Eric started with only two diamonds. So Eric now has three more spades in his hand. Two of them are high. I expect he'll play two more rounds of trump. Um, and then he needs to try to set up um, another trick. Now, uh, here I'm putting Alad with four hearts. That two upside down count indicates that he has four. So I'm going to duck smoothly here. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean it'll help us. If South started with six spades and two hearts and two diamonds, 
South also started with three clubs. And South really can't go wrong unless South manages to squeeze himself. Uh, I think that actually might be possible here. So I'm going to keep my eyes open for that possibility when we see Dummy's pitch. Uh, unfortunately, Dummy has the two more clubs in hand. Alad uh, will win his king, and we will get our ace of hearts. I think that's it for the defense, though. Had Alad held on to another diamond, he could have forced to clear a little bit more. So here, um, South still has a club in hand. Unfortunately, that jack of clubs is going to win a trick. And I'll win the last trick with the ace of hearts. Uh, well bid. I don't think we could have done any better on the defense, but um, uh, it was also played well enough, too. So uh, that was the first board. Um, so here, I've got a good six card diamond suit. We play two diamonds as a non-preemptive bid. So I'm going to open this three diamonds without shame. Um, so now let's take a look at the history to see exactly what other people have done with these cards. And three spades by them is a good score for them. Everybody seems to be taking those uh, nine tricks, which is six spades, a club, and a diamond, and a heart. It's hard to not take those tricks. Um, I think they can't do any better because they have a slow winner in diamonds and a slow winner in clubs, and the heart pitch doesn't actually help. So three spades there is forcing. Um, that double is a penalty double. So I am just going to pass. Uh, no, it's sorry. The double's a takeout double, or at least it should be a takeout double. Three spades, however, is um, uh, artificial. No, three spades is natural and forcing, but I'm taking advantage of this to pass because I'm hoping that South will misunderstand the double and pass. Sometimes that happens. Um, if South bids, I'm going to come in with four spades because three spades to the 10 is actually very good at this auction. Um, and holding the ace of diamonds is also very good. Um, so I have another bid left in me if South uh, bids over three spades, four clubs or something. But I know Al is strong too, so I don't want to uh, remove the possibility of him making a penalty double if that's what his hand is. His, he might have a game force, but that doesn't necessarily mean he has a guaranteed penalty double. I don't know if we're in a forcing pass situation. I would expect not because he's going to know, based on his hand, uh, more than mine, whether or not we have any defense. So Alad might just bid four spades here. So now I have a decision to make. Uh, that was a very slow four hearts. So I need to think about, does my one defensive trick probably mean that I should bid more? And North is thinking now. That's interesting. Hmm. Very interesting. Hey, it looks like I got a couple people in the chat. That's fun. That slow pass is funny. Maybe it's a communication problem. I'm going to go four spades here. And I suspect I'll see three very fast passes. Um, if Al had wanted to defend four hearts, he could have doubled. Um, so I'm going to trust my hand here. Uh, we'll see if this turns out well. Maybe North will make a penalty double. It's also possible Al had psyched the three spades bid. Uh, I'm hoping he didn't do that. Uh, I've seen uh, and actually made the psych of three no trump over a preempt before. And here we go. Six hearts now. So what do I do here? I think three spades might have been a psych if North's jumping to six hearts. Um, but I'm going to pass. I, I, I don't see any reason to double here because I, I don't want to encourage some kind of different lead. Alad's doubling on lead. So this is a you know penalty double. I can beat you in six hearts. He should know pretty much exactly what my hand is. A hand with three spades and diamonds. So this king of spades is going to get roughed, as I expected. Uh, and uh, the good news, though, is that the diamond is going to cash. I don't know, however, if the ace of diamonds is a... Um, so here I'm going to play suit preference, which is the uh, the 10 to indicate that I have the ace of diamonds. 
but we'll find that out eventually. Alad probably has a doubleton diamond. Uh, if it's a singleton, uh, then I'll be a little bit sad. Now, Eric might not be able to get back to his hand. That's an interesting uh, dilemma because uh, Alad has a strong hand for his three spades bit. He has a game force, and uh, obviously a lot of that's in spades, but none of that's in diamonds. Uh, so I would expect Alad to have a, a club card, and he might even have a guarded queen of hearts, depending on uh, Eric's hand, right? A slow four hearts, if, if it's really a slow four hearts, might indicate a, a longer minor suit, but I don't think he has that. Here, I'm going to play count, uh, low high, showing an even number. Alad's also playing low high. Um, must be four to the king queen, because I expect Eric to trump here. Mm -hmm. The good news is that Eric might not be able to rough out all of Alad's clubs. Uh, the cross rough will only take him so far, I think. So here I'm throwing the spade off because I want to be able to trump any spade that for whatever reason uh, Eric might let ride, but here that's not happening. Um, let me just make sure that I saw his queen of clubs there. Okay, good. Just to tell partner, I've got the ace of diamonds. So now, um, Alad has one more high club. I see no reason not to just, uh, hmm. If I trump, I, no, I'll just throw a diamond, which is standard present count. So all of the clubs have been roughed out now. Um, Eric's roughed into his hand three times. So if Eric started with five hearts, we could be in trouble here. Alad with the two of diamonds is showing a doubleton. So um, Eric's trumped three spades and dummy at this point. Um, he started with three spades, probably. He started with one club and what looks like two diamonds. Um, hmm. That's worrisome. Is there anything I can do here um, to avoid this problem? If Al would start with the singleton two of diamonds, I should play back another diamond, get him to trumpet. No reason not to play a heart at this point, I think. Or, or sorry, no reason to play a heart. So I might as well play the jack of diamonds and hope that Alad is able to trumpet. He's not. So here uh, I expect two hearts to win and the clubs to also win. But if Eric's out of hearts at this point, then Alad can trump a club. Sadly, no. It's well bid and well played. I don't know if there's anything we could have done. I mean, I could have passed four hearts, uh, but honestly, I expected more defense from Alan's hand. I guess the clubs didn't really turn out. So here, 1660, it's not going to be a great board for us, but you know what? I can live with that. It might have been better to bid four spades immediately, but honestly, I didn't see that coming. And uh, maybe I should have. Looking at the double dummy result, there's there's nothing we can do on the hand or on the play of the cards. Them getting to six in the first place is a top board for them because everybody else is stopping short in game. Um, it was a big bid by Elad, and he must have taken inference by my spade raise that uh, our values were concentrated in that suit. Okay. Here, uh, Alad is making an interesting bid. Um, and I'm trying to see if this is possible. He should not have a preempt in clubs. Our agreement is that this bid shows, uh, what is it, eight tricks with a really good heart suit. So he should have a, this hand is impossible at this point. So I'm wondering if perhaps he actually had the club preempt. Yeah, so we, we play uh, what's the with Namyats. Obviously, this is Namyats. So I think he just misbid. I'm going to pass because I don't think he can have the Namyats hand. If he did, he would correct to four hearts, I think. Hmm. 
Very curious. Or maybe he does have the Namiats hand. Ace, Queen, Jack, Ten, Eight of Hearts, um, something like that, and uh, an outside Ace. This is tricky. This is tricky. Um, does he really have the bid he promised? I think. I think his suit would need to be solid for that. I'm going to double. And I'm doubling because I think we might be able to beat this on defense. And they got one from us last hand, so one of these has got to work. This might not be correct, but uh, I am hoping it is. So the Ace of Clubs is, uh, is very promising because it, it asks for attitude here. I don't have the king. Um, the question is, do I encourage? I don't see the need to encourage, but um, that probably won't stop him from cashing the king if he has it. So Alad probably is reading my card correctly. He might not trust it. Um, me discouraging on clubs, and this might hold, should indicate to him that he should not continue clubs. Uh, he might shift to spades. He might shift to hearts. I don't know which. Um, but I definitely didn't want uh, him to play three rounds of clubs. So the Ten of Hearts is the card I wanted to see probably the top of the doubleton. Um, if it goes around, I need to decide if I want to cash my ace of spades first. Here, I'll win my king and then play back um, another heart here, third from my present count. I don't think that uh, my ace of spades is going anywhere, and obviously I can't shift the diamonds. So that's a good sign. It's telling me that Alad actually had a singleton. He might have misinterpreted my low heart uh, to mean play clubs. Uh, I hope he doesn't. But uh, yeah, it seems my, my double ended up being a little bit lucky. I didn't deserve partner's show with the ace king of clubs, especially when we don't play that bit to show clubs in the first place. But you take what you can get, right? So again, lucky he's playing a spade. I'm going to win my ace here because I find it unlikely that the queen of spades is now its hand. And uh, clearly, I just have to play back another heart and then hope for the best. So it looks like we're going to take another couple diamond tricks because um, we're not getting any more spades. So Declare started with four spades, probably two clubs. Uh, what was it? Four heart, one spade, two clubs. Yeah, I'm, I'm done counting. Uh, I'm just going to cash out. And uh, I, think, I think we're out of tricks here. So down five is good for two, five, eight, 11, 14. So... We're still down by 500 or 600 points uh, in the round, uh, which is not great when you score 1,100. Just reminding Alan that we do play Namiats there. I think we promise eight tricks and hearts. Um, anyway, that's what it is. So anyway, uh, I see I've got some folks in chat. Thanks for joining a bridge stream. Um, I know that there's another couple of those on YouTube for, for uh, some mostly junior play. Um, I'm a recent ex-junior myself, um, with the changing definitions of junior, of course. Being 30, uh, I guess I technically still qualify for some age-limited tournaments. 
but I uh, really enjoy the uh, a junior bridge and playing against young opponents. It's fun. It's a it, it most of my bridge play though is is club bridge against older players or less experienced players. So there is quite a swerve when I'm going between uh, club competition, casual play, maybe a few hands against random opponents online to, you know, a few years ago when I was one of the people who raised my hand and actually showed up to play for Canada's junior teams. And I got stumped by some of those really strong bridge programs uh, in the United States and Europe for junior bridge players. Um, nonetheless, I had fun. Uh, I have a few fun junior bridge stories that I would love to talk about, but uh, they might be a little bit silly. Uh, and uh, I'll save them for a later intermission because this one's almost over. Mm -hmm. Just close the hands. I like that. The difference between being the difference between old person bridge and junior bridge is that you win at old person bridge by playing like a junior and you win at junior bridge by playing like an old person. Fascinating. I love it. Yeah, so uh looks like we got that one. They got this one and uh that should be middling. But we're on to the next round. Um we were playing against Ron and Peg. I don't know Ron and Peg as well as I know Elad and Eric, um, but uh, let's talk about the hand. So here I've got enough values to gain force, even opposite of precision opening. Uh, here, I'm just gonna bid one spade with my four card spade suit. Alad's one heart shows at most 15 points and at least five hearts. So most of the time he'll rebid one no trump here. And if he does so, I'm just going to bid three no trump. I hope he raises my spades. Oh, there you go. So I get to play a game contract and not just uh, watch my partner lead against uh, increasingly silly contracts by my opponents. So partner's got five hearts. He's got four spades for his raise. Uh, it was a little bit of a slow raise. I'm not going to assume that he has three spades and a singleton somewhere, but it's a little bit possible. He's got five hearts. He's got four spades, something in the minors. I like the diamond lead here, but uh, now I don't like the diamond lead. Okay. So Let's take stock. We got uh, probably two spade losers uh, and a club loser. Uh, got to avoid the rest. I don't see a way to avoid a heart finesse. So I think probably I'll assume that the heart's on side and then try to play spades for as few losers as possible. Um, here, I'm not worried about anything getting roughed. I am a little bit worried about the diamond uh, slow loser. So I might need to play on clubs before I pull trump. And if I want to pull Trump, I think it's probably best to have a ticket back to my hand in order to take a heart finesse. So I'm going to win the Ace of Diamonds and then play a club immediately off of Dummy. I expect uh, North to fly with the Ace of Clubs here. Um, nothing exciting on the lead here. I don't know where the honors are in the suit. So here's the Ace of Clubs. I expect another Diamond back. So I'll win my king, and uh, hopefully this won't get roughed. Nope. Doesn't look like there's any diamond doubletons I need to worry about. Uh, so I'm going to immediately discard my diamond on the high club, and then think about trumps. So one thing I could do right now is trump a diamond. Um, that might make some of the, the, the end of the hand a little bit simpler. So here, if I trump a diamond and then lead up to my nine of spades, maybe we'll see an honor fly. So I'll try that. Um, 
I see no reason to make dummy have the long spades rather than hand. So South is thinking. Uh, I don't see why South would think here. It looks like South has another diamond. Maybe they're wondering whether or not to cover um, because uh, if they don't have a few intermediates, they might think I'm trying to sneak one past, but I'm not. I'll trump low and then play a low spade off of dummy to keep the tenant in dummy. So we've got a low spade from north here. Um, and I have some choices. Uh, unless north is ducking from king, queen, jack, small, south will be able to cover my nine. Um, it might be play best to play the six and maybe finesse the eight, see if that forces out a high, uh, high spade. And it'll tell me the position of the eight as well. So now I know where the eight is. Um, the jack of spades is the least informative spade spot that could have appeared by south. The queen or the king would have told me a little bit more. So here is an interesting situation. It's the 13th diamond. So I have to decide, how do I want to play spades from dummy? I know north has the eight of spades. If spades are 3-2 uh, and I play the 10 of spades, I might induce a cover and then throw off, uh, uh, or I might not get a cover uh, if north only has the eight of spades here. So it looks like north uh, did not want to uh, rough high. So if north has no more spades, then I'm probably in trouble. If north has uh, just the eight, oh, north does have the eight. Okay, that's good. So I'll win my ace, dropping the queen. Um, and then all I have to lose left is the uh, king of spades. So here I'm going to claim uh, four more tricks because I have to lose that, uh, that high spade. So here, um, I'm still waiting for the claim to be accepted. So it might be faster just to cancel the claim and then uh, manually knock out the high spade. Uh, I would rather them not have to think through the mechanics of the claim. So here, North actually did have the king of spades and could have covered the 10, but that would have uh, potentially cost North a spade trick. North didn't exactly know the layout of the suit. So here, I just have some winners that I will cash. And I'm hoping that King of Hearts is offside. That would have made me feel really good. Um, I suspect it might actually be uh, onside, though. Oh, there you go. That was a fun hand. Uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, gotta love making game contracts when the finesse you have to take is offside. So taking uh, 10 tricks there is uh, good for a top, um, whether or not you bid four spades. So this hand is an opening bid, playing precision. Certainly, even if you don't play precision, you should open this. And it's a, it's a clear overcall of one spade here. Uh, I think two spades would be uh, an underbid. So uh, if south passes, we actually play transfer advances here. Two diamonds being hearts, two hearts being good spade raise, two spades being a junky raise. Um, three diamonds is a mixed raise. Uh, three hearts is what, a fit jump, maybe? I don't know. And three spades is a preemptive raise. So many options, uh, but of course, south has to pass first. If south bids, our uh, transfer advance agreements are off. Um, I'm... Uh, not currently holding a YouTube channel. Uh, Twitch saves the VODs and, and they exist for a month. Um, I, I don't know how much people will want to watch me play bridge. Uh, I have a clear compete to three spades and partner will interpret this as a compete, not an invite. So I'm happy to bid it. Um, uh, if people want to watch it afterwards, they can watch a Twitch VOD. But if there's demand, I could always put these on YouTube. Uh, I've never used YouTube before in terms of hosting. so. Uh, that would be another new experience for me, just like streaming is. Uh, so, uh, yeah, four diamonds. 
Uh, do I want to compete over four diamonds? I do not. I think four diamonds is probably where you want to watch the opponents play and not where you want to play yourself. Against four diamonds, I have a couple choices. I think I want to lead my singleton. Uh, partner might not have a lot outside of the spade suit, but if we're beating four diamonds, he might have a heart card. So, um, or the ace of diamonds, maybe. So I'll try the 10 of hearts. Uh, partner will definitely be able to read this card as a singleton. It actually makes me happy to see the king of spades and dummy because it tells me partner's values are probably outside of the spade suit. Um, uh, Alan and I try not to lead doubletons against suit contracts looking for roughs. Uh, our first interpretation is that this card, if it looks like it might be a singleton, it is a singleton. So if he's holding onto the ace of hearts, I expect him to win it. Uh, he did not. He's playing low, so the queen wins. Uh, the five with the four and the two missing is ambiguous. I don't know um, if uh, what he wants with, for that. So that's a that's a certain singleton. I'm going to raise the ace here. And unfortunately, I'm in the position of uh, having to play a card that is going to uh, put dummy on lead, and then the presumed heart loser or club loser is going away. Here, I'm going to play an attitude four of clubs to indicate that I've got a high club. So yeah, uh, I, I, I'm trying to get accustomed to the interactions of Twitch. Um, obviously, I've seen other people stream other games, and they're in communication with the chat, and they're talking and, and uh, taking advice. Uh, bridge, VODs, and analysis make sense for YouTube as well, um, so that is a good option. Um, on the other hand, I think YouTube comes with some expectations about uh, production quality that I probably wouldn't be able to satisfy. So here, partners winning that king of diamonds, the diamond finesse. I wonder if he's going to go ace of hearts heart. The king of hearts hopefully will get ducked, but I, I expect it to be covered by the ace here. And now I can trump it. If it's my lucky day, partner will have the jack of hearts and declarer will still have the, the 10, uh, sorry, a low heart, and then we can uh, succeed here. Um, I'm going to play the king of clubs and then hope that passive defense will work. Um, so we'll see. I don't have any more decisions left to make on this hand. And to be honest, um, starting uh, a, a Twitch channel of a game that is played by a few thousand people over the age of 70 I wasn't actually expecting anybody at all to watch the stream or tune into the stream. Uh, so I'm actually pleasantly surprised by all the people in the chat. Uh, definitely not what I was, what I was expecting, but uh, definitely something uh, that, I, that I'm happy with. All right, so we beat four diamonds. I'm glad I chose to defend there. Uh, I don't think we're making uh, a game in spades. Uh, three spades is also probably down from what it looks. Uh, looking at the double dummy analysis, it is uh, making two spades. So here I've got maybe the world's worst 10 count, uh, and I'm vulnerable. So that's a pass. Uh, we play 10 to 12 no trump openings, first and second non-vulnerable, uh, balanced and some semi-balanced distributions. Here being vulnerable and being holding the worst possible 10 count, I'm passing. Yeah, obviously, Bridge in person is uh, going to kill a lot of old people 
were it to happen nowadays, given the virus that's going around. I've got a positive response to one club. I've got the majors. So uh, I'm going to be bidding our relays here. So uh, so this shows four plus spades uh, and eight to ten points, and it's one heart. So Alid knows that I'm a past hand, so he knows my exact range, eight to ten, for a positive response. If he keeps asking more questions, I'll tell him about the fact that I have hearts, that my hearts are longer, and my exact shape, if he wants to get around to it. So my one no trump uh, follow-up will show um, four more hearts, with at least nine cards in the majors. So that should give Alad a pretty good picture of, of my hand. Uh, he might just blast to a game like three no Trump at this point, but he's likely to investigate further. So um, my minimum response shows this canopy type hand with longer hearts than spades. And by minimum, I mean lowest possible. His bid is going to be two clubs at this point if he wants to continue relaying. Um, and uh, my first step will show longer hearts. My second step will show uh, equal or greater length spades with at least 10 cards in the suits. And then following that will be five spades and four hearts hands. So after he goes two clubs and I go two diamonds, uh, normally we'd actually have a range ask in there as well, but my past hand status shows my range very precisely. So here, uh, Two diamonds, shows longer hearts. With longer hearts, I could be 5-4, I could be 6-4, I could be 6-5. And we have uh, questions and responses that will uh, let him know exactly what that is. So if he bids two hearts here, um, asking, my uh, lowest step two spades would show at least 10 cards. Um, but he's giving up, he's bidding three no, I'm passing. So with the world's worst possible 10 count and nine cards in the majors, I get to play three no trump. So one thing that I've learned playing these kind of fancy relays is even if you alert and even if they ask and you explain, they might still interpret the bids that you make as if they were natural. And that happened to us in the last round. So here we've got a bit of a misfit. Um, So I'm asking the opponents if they play standard leads and carding because I do want to know if that two of diamonds is from four. How, how many tricks do I have? I've got the four aces, the king, queen of diamonds, so that's six off the top. I could always knock out a heart, always knock out a spade, always knock out a club. So that'll get to nine tricks, but I need to make sure I don't lose control of anything. So what I want to do is make sure that I have a way back to my hand to cash hearts if I need to do that. So I, I, I might be tricky here. I think I'm going to play the ace of diamonds and... Uh, Looks like they're not looking at the, the BBO chat. I'm going to play the Ace of Diamonds and uh, unblock my Ace of Hearts here. And then this way, I can always force uh, a card back to my hand. Uh, I'm going to use the club as the entry here. So uh, the queen will hopefully hold the trick. If it doesn't, then that's fine. Queen holds the trick. So I need to decide what I'm pitching on the Queen of Hearts, um, probably a club. Now clubs is my weakest suit here, um, so I need to avoid uh, any problems in clubs. Uh, but North has the King of Clubs, so no clubs coming back is good for me. So uh, looks like the Nine of Hearts here. Uh, we'll see if, if there's gonna be another heart or not. So that's another heart. Um, I think the, there's still a heart uh, outstanding that's higher than the one that I have, but I can uh, set up the heart trick. So here uh, we'll see, I think, uh, looks like North, South has the, the, the heart. I'm going to pitch a diamond from Dummy because I think that these spades will be... Uh, good when the king is gone. North probably holds the king of spades. So here I will uh, probably, I think it's best to play the 
eight of spades, and then I can win in hand and cash the heart. So here, uh, let's see. Do, do, do. Yeah, this should be good. So club to the ace. Diamond back, and I'll play my heart. And uh, I expect north to, to follow, but maybe I'm not paying attention. OK, so I'll play the heart here. And I think I've got south squeezed, not that it really matters. So there, the, the eight of diamonds is now guaranteed to be a winner. But of course, diamonds were 3-3. Three, three. So there you go. 11 tricks. With diamonds 3-3, three, three, 11 tricks is not hard to get to. So I don't know how this will score as a, as a, as a board, but it looks like uh, some people are taking 12 there. Uh, that is what it is, right? Uh, you don't expect to take uh, 12 tricks off the offside king of clubs and the king of hearts possibility uh, offside, but there you go. I expected the two diamonds to be from four and not from jack third. Um, do I stream with a delay? I think there might be some delay. Uh, and you can probably tell by the lag between me answering your question verbally and reading the chat, you can't see my match points. Okay, so thank you for letting me know. Uh, I am hiding it with this note here. So why don't I shift that note around and uh, then you'll be able to maybe see it better. Or I guess because uh, I'm using OBS, I need to shift it around in OBS. So here, I am going to take this thing and uh, maybe, I don't know. Uh, there's not a lot of room for it. Uh, I might just uh, remove it, because I, I don't really think uh, you need the note. But uh, I can always uh, put it back if people have any questions about who I am later on in the stream. So we got one more minute to go in this round. So that's wrapping up pretty soon. Ah, now I can see the delay between uh, my Twitch and uh, the audio. Uh, sorry, the delay between the play and you watching, and it seems to be about a 15 second delay, which I think is normal unless you, you go on like low latency Twitch. So um, yeah, I, I think there are settings I can change in Twitch that'll speed things up. Anyway, no, it's, it wasn't an intentional delay. It's just the default Twitch settings. Uh, if people want to snipe, well, there's a lot of ways to cheat at online bridge and stream sniping is probably not something that's ever been done before in terms of cheating at bridge, but uh, we'll see. Anyway, uh, I have a really good hand, and I need to decide how I want to bid this one. We play precision, so I think this might be worth upgrading to a strong club, but it might also be better to, to just bid naturally. Mm, okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bid this one naturally. So I'm going to start with a spade and then bid clubs at a high level, hopefully. We play our precision club shows 16 plus points. This is a 13 count that is, is well above uh, the expectation so here. So, so the two diamonds allows me to clarify my hand more. Uh, I could bid four, four, three clubs if I wanted to, but partner's raise here is uh, So uh, screw it with three spades in partner's hand. If there are three small spades, that gives me, what, a 40% chance of making four spades. So I'm going four spades here. And uh, who do we have? Henri and Thierry. So it's the Arno father and son combination. Uh, I uh, love playing against Henri, and I really love playing against Thierry. They're both a lot of fun. Um, they forgot to double me here, so... That six looks like a singleton. It smells pretty singleton-y. So how do I avoid getting a club rough 
Um, well, uh, if spades are 2-2, I have one spade loser. If spades are 3-1, I have two spade losers, almost certainly. And uh, I have probably the ace of hearts to lose. So I think that while I could be sneaky and put up a heart right away, it's better to win my ace of clubs and do my best to drive out as many trumps as quickly as possible. So that's the jack. Hopefully the king and queen are in the same hand. And it looks like they're not. Um, so Thierry started with a king, queen of spades. Um, he overcalled in diamonds, but Henri raised. So it's possible the diamonds are split between the two hands, the high diamonds. Uh, not that it matters much. If it gets to that point, um, where I'm just playing Trump for my hand. Like if Cherry continues with uh, with clubs, I might have a squeeze, but that would require a little bit of uh, luck. It would require him to. Mm -hmm. So here, that would break up any possible squeeze. So I'm going to win my Ace of Diamonds, cross back to my hand, and then advance the uh, Six of Hearts. Uh, I think actually best is to indicate that I'm out of diamonds so that it seems less likely that I have a singleton heart. So I'm trumping here. And now I'm going to play a heart to what looks like my king. And hopefully we'll get a duck. Nope, I have the rest. Nothing they can do. Uh, four spades is the right spot. And they, I guess we did well to bid it. I'm glad partner managed to find a raise, but he has quite a good raise anyway. So everybody should be there. Uh, this hand, I've got 14, I'm in third. So we do an interesting thing, third seat white. We play a 10 to 14 no trump range, which is very unusual. But because partner is a past hand, non-vulnerable, we know he's got a bad hand. We know there's no game on the horizon. So this allows us to be as disruptive as possible with our one no trump opening bid. And uh, that uh, puts a lot of pressure on the fourth seat bidder to decide whether or not to come in with their with their 11 count or something like that. So Alad's response is to the 1-0 trump. He's not going to look for game here. Two of a major is to play. We don't play transfers over the weak no trump. Excuse me. We do play stamen. Uh, he might bid a garbage stamen here uh, with an appropriate hand. So that's two clubs. Stamen, uh, we play two clubs as at least invitational opposite a... Um, a weak no trump, but uh, there's a very good chance I'll just pass my two spade response here. If he does manage to scrape together an invite, he might have some shape that's good for an invite, then I'm happy to, to go to, to game. So here it looks like it was either a garbage stamen or maybe a semi-garbage stamen if he's got, what, uh, three spades and four hearts, something like that. And uh, I'm happy to buy the contract at two of major. So uh, what could we see here? We've got a low diamond lead. We've got a few finesses and hearts and spades. We've got a club loser. Um, the, the shape of the hand is interesting. He does have five hearts and four spades. So he decided not to invite. The three of diamonds here, usually it would be from the king. Um, but I don't know if it's best to play low. If I play low, then the nine might win the trick or I might force out the king. But I also want to get to dummy. But the best way to get dummy would be to rough clubs, because I'll have to do that anyway. Or I could try to set up the hearts. Uh, I have a couple choices here. I just am worried about not having enough entries to the hearts if uh, they hold up. So, uh, and I'll need entries to dummy to take spade finesses anyway. So it looks like uh, 
Thierry was under leading his king 10, which is fine. It's normal. I'm going to win my nine and play a club out so I can start roughing clubs, start taking spade finesses in my hand. Now, Thierry probably isn't going to continue diamonds because uh, the nine won the trick, right? He knows his partner doesn't have anything. Uh, Thierry might continue diamonds if he's long at diamonds and hopes partner can trump them, or he'll play a heart through my ace queen. This is a finesse I can't avoid. I don't think that three's a singleton because he would have let a singleton, um, but there's no reason not to let this go around to my jack. If uh, it wins, it wins. So here it looks like it wins. I'll win with my jack just to not block myself, I suppose. I don't know. And here I'll trump a club and then take some spade finesses. With South having the red kings, um, it makes it more likely for North to have the black king. So I, uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to put the 10 in. Oops. I hope that was from uh, King third North. So that's the King. And then here, um, I need to make some choices about how I want to do this. So why don't I rough a club, diamond to the ace, and then uh, pull the last trump? Okay, so actually my queen of clubs is good. So uh, let's run the queen of diamonds here just for fun. Oh, don't you dare trump that. It wouldn't make sense for north to trump because, oh, there was the king of diamonds there. Okay, so this should pull the last trump, and then I have the rest of the tricks. I don't need the hard finesse. Lots of winners. Making plus three. So unfortunately, we missed a game. We took 11 tricks. We contracted for eight. So so there you go. Uh, we'll beat anybody else in part score, but I think there will be people in game. And that's, that's where you get punished for such a big range for your weak one no trump bid. Partner didn't have a ton of points, but he had shape that really improved. Uh, we'll see if other people bid the game, and it looks like they did, unfortunately. He's got, uh, what, nine, I've got 14. So you could see people bidding it and see people not bidding it, but um, wasn't our hand. So on this deal, I have, uh, looks like, 13 five card spade suit everybody's opening this one spade including me partner if he bids one no trump that would be a semi forcing one no trump bid i would pass it with a minimum balanced hand if he has a, a different hand he would have bid something else over the double we actually play transfers here so he might bid a weak transfer that he would pass three no trump though is to play and i definitely don't mind him being bidding three no trump when I'm holding a bunch of kings, a bunch of intermediates. So this should be the right spot. I have no reason to pull three no trump. And uh, it's time to uh, watch Alad work his magic. So uh, let's see what Henri will lead. Probably his fourth best. The double doesn't give any clues, really. The heart makes sense. Just because Alad didn't look for a heart game, he probably doesn't have four hearts. Certainly doesn't have five. So Alad decided to go uh, with the three-card spade suit, which is a good choice at match points, I think. Uh, we are a little bit worried about the club suit because there are positions in the club suit where we could lose uh, a lot of club tricks. Here we've got three top hearts, four top diamonds. That's seven. Alad will want to win two spade tricks. Um, so one way to do that is to hope that the opponents hold up twice in the spade suit. But Thierry is not holding up. He knows that he has to cash that ace of clubs. And then this is going to come down to the position of the queen of clubs. And the hand's over. So here, we against the people who are in four spades, they're going to lose the ace of spades. They're going to lose the ace of clubs. 
The only question is, are they going to lose a heart trick? Um, given that we don't have the 10 of hearts, the answer is maybe, I don't know. And I'm also assuming that there's no diamond rough. Uh, here, it looks like against best defense, there is a heart loser in four spades. So we should beat the people who are in um, who are in uh, four spades, I think. But it requires the defense not to give up a trick by letting the jack of clubs set up or by leading hearts and uh, costing a trick there. So uh, there might be actually end play possibilities if the lead doesn't attack the club suit, say. So if we look at here, uh, only one other table has bid this hand so far. They stopped in four diamonds, uh, which is a little bit of an underbid. Uh, you don't want to stop in four diamonds here. In fact, I think five diamonds is the most likely game to make because you can throw off the heart losers on some long spades and maybe trump a couple clubs. It's not easy, but it's not a bad game for sure. Um, what else do we have here? So let's look at the boards from this round. So four spades making. Um, by East, solid board. Um, I'll refresh that, just see if there's any other results in. Yep, we beat the people who missed the game. Now the reverse is going to be true on board eight. It looks like we uh, beat the people who didn't bid the game because we took more tricks because uh, East is a very good card player, but uh, obviously we're losing to the people who managed to bid the game. And then finally, this three no Trump should be a pretty good board and it should beat the people in four spades, but I, I'm not 100% sure. So this person did manage to make five spades. And I want to see if double dummy, it is making five spades. So it is. Um, let's see. Yeah, so if you run the jack of hearts, no, sorry. Um, if south leads the ace of clubs and then continues on something else, maybe ace of clubs, ace of spades, spade out. Um, I don't really know uh, how to park the heart loser. I wonder if you do squeeze south. Uh, south does have to solely guard clubs and hearts. So the end position can be uh, three hearts to the ace queen opposite three hearts to the jack. Um, the diamonds are all gone by this point with just the jack of clubs sitting in dummy. And then you play uh, the last spade out of your hand. And then south, holding on to three hearts in the ace of clubs, has a choice to make. If they throw off a low heart, your long heart will set up. If they throw off the ace of clubs, that will set up. So I, uh, I want to see what happened there if they did pull off the squeeze. So it looks like ace wins, diamonds out. This passive defense is interesting. Um, the jack of hearts did not get covered. Yep. Yeah, uh, Looks like Alid also noticed the squeeze. So there you go. Um, either he noticed the squeeze or he tuned into the audio of the stream as I was explaining it. Um, but uh, it's, uh, it's always fun to find these little squeezes for extra tricks. And is uh, a goose too clever to duck. So let's take stock. Uh, after nine boards, after three rounds, we're sitting at 54%. Honestly, it could be better. Uh, we normally, at, against this club or similar clubs, we're running around 62%. And so we have room for improvement. Uh, obviously, we lost a lot on that six hearts where they managed to bid the slam. And of course, we doubled the slam, not that that mattered. And uh, we also apparently didn't take that, not, that 12th trick there, um, which doesn't exist double dummy, for, or it does exist double dummy. Okay, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, you can take four spade tricks without a single loser if you play up to the jack. So that's five diamonds, four spades, the ace of hearts, the ace of clubs. That's 11, and you knock out one of the kings, and you get 12 tricks. 
So I see how you can take uh, 12 tricks there. Maybe it's correct to play spades that way and to focus on the spade suit first. I don't know. Um, but I definitely didn't read the diamonds as being 3-3. Three, three. I read them as being 4-2. Uh, but that's to my detriment. Maybe it would have been better to test them first. So with four minutes to go, I think what I'll do is, is just talk a little bit about my uh, junior bridge career. Why not? If anybody's tuning in, they can hear about the junior teams that I've played for. So in 2006, I was part of the under-21 Canada team that played in Bangkok, Thailand. And uh, I was in a three-way partnership with my cousin Alad, who I'm playing with here today, and my brother Herschel. We did not do very well in that tournament because we were bad bridge players. Two years later, I played in a collegiate tournament with my brother Herschel in uh, Wuj, Poland. And we were on a team with a couple of quite good bridge juniors, but my partner Herschel and I were not good. We actually finished last in the tournament. Herschel and I were the worst pair in the tournament. It was a little bit humiliating, but I still had fun, you know, going to Poland and experiencing all of that stuff and playing all kinds of bridge in the hallways of the strange university we played at. Um, my favorite memory from that tournament, I think, was when um, we managed to constructively bid uh, to seven spades, a grand slam, off every single key card. Um, and it was uh, quite the auction that involved misunderstanding key card and making a few too many assumptions. We were only down like two, which was incredible, but still, uh, that was a, a bit of a silly one. Then about a month later, I went to Beijing, China to play for Canada's under-21 team again for that my partner's name was John McGuire. Alad was at that tournament, but he wasn't playing with me. We did a little better than we did in Poland, of course, but we didn't come close to the playoff. I didn't play great, but uh, it, was, uh, it was fun going to China and uh, seeing Beijing. I'll keep talking after the round, but I've got a few hands to play through. So seven points, nothing to do, got a pass. Uh, we'll see what partner does when it gets around to him. Hopefully he'll bid hearts. So I'm playing against Anne and David. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll pick it up a little bit. It looks like three no Trump making on that board was in the middle because people in four spades had a range of results. Uh, one made, one went down, a three made five. Um, I do wonder how many of them actually pulled off the squeeze though. I expect a lot of people, excuse me, a lot of people ducked with the King of Hearts holding south. <clears throat> and then, uh, yeah, a low heart there also seals it. So nobody actually managed to be in the position where the squeeze was the right thing to do. Uh, but it's, uh, it's fine. They got their tricks another way. Uh, you take your tricks how you get them. On occasion, on bridge base, people have connection issues. Sometimes they forget it's their turn. Um, some players are just slow. Partners one diamond is, is uh, 11 to 15, two plus diamonds. And uh, here, obviously I have a good diamond suit, but my bid is one heart to show four hearts. I would rather play in hearts than in diamonds. We're unlikely to have game, but I'll want to know what to compete in. Partner, yes, David is a very thorough player, a very careful analysis of the hands that he plays. Sometimes a little too careful. 
so it's Anne's turn to bid. I wonder if she's going to come in with uh, with spades. Given that I have one spade and partner has, I would say, at most four spades, there's a good chance that she bids a spade. And here I have a, a normal negative double to show four hearts. Um, and if partner doesn't have heart support, I'm happy to bid diamonds. If partner even has two low diamonds, diamonds is still a fine contract with me holding ace, jack, ten, fifth. He might bid clubs, which would indicate a club holding. So here, partner has um, some choices. He might bid uh, two no trump, which would show a hand with uh, the miners. So would three clubs. I think one would show more than the other. Here, this is some kind of responsive double, I think. Or actually, wait, hang on. If I remember correctly, this bid shows exactly two spades, which is a little confusing to me because I only have one. If the opponents have 10 spades between them, I'm, I'm going to see North bid something in spades soon. Um, here, I'm going to try three diamonds, which I think explains my hand very well. I don't expect three clubs to be passed there. I expect South to bid spades more. But um, we'll see. Partner, knowing my hand, will have a decision to make. I expect partner to pass. Three spades to be the final contract. I'm on lead against three spades. I'll have to decide what to lead. Um, oh, four spades. Never mind. So a club into... The club bid by north doesn't seem good. A spade might not do very much. Uh, I could try the ace of diamonds. Again, doesn't seem like it would do that much. So I think I'm left with a heart. Um, I'm going to lead my third highest heart here. I hope partner doesn't think I have a higher one, though. So here, dummy with four hearts. Partner will know um, how many hearts I have and will be able to make a choice as to whether or not to play something like the ace. If he has ace 10 fourth, we could be in trouble with the jack of hearts winning a trick. But that's not the case. So partner can tell that I've got four hearts to the whatever. This five of diamonds is an attitude shift. He's got a high diamond somewhere. So we're going to take two diamond tricks. The question is, what do we do after we take those two diamond tricks? So here, uh, partner's got the king of diamonds. I need partner to win and shift to a club, I think. Does that do anything? Hmm, I'm not sure. Do I want to force dummy? I think probably uh, playing a club here is best. If declarer has maybe king jack of clubs, then I will want a club through immediately. Uh, I don't know if that three of diamonds is a suit preference. He might have interpreted it as a present count card, uh, but I expect clubs to be what he plays at this point. So here, I think that's another attitude shift. So partner has a card in clubs. North has a decision to make. If North is holding a holding like king, jack, or uh, king. So here, uh, I'm going to encourage with the low spot, which is the six. I have the queen, but I know partner has the king, so that should be good. Now, North will want to get back to dummy. There's holdings where North won't be able to get back to dummy. So we'll see what North plays from hand. If North has the ace of spades and no king of spades, then there's no finesse to take um, here. Uh, we'll see. But North bid freely a few times. I expect North to have values. We've already seen the ace of clubs, the queen of diamonds, a stiff heart. I'm expecting the king of spades in addition. Now, Alad just played the 10 of spades. If his double actually showed two spades, then this 10 is some kind of suit reference card. I think that uh, here I want to uh, encourage diamonds just to say I have the jack, if he's wondering about that. So here, 10 and then 5 tells me uh, high suit preference, not diamonds, because I've seen all the high diamonds. It would be hearts. Maybe he doesn't have the king of clubs. Maybe he had the jack, something like that. So here, 
I'm winning this trick somehow. I don't understand why, but it's uh, it's down. We beat the contract. Uh, I was a little bit worried given that I thought they had a 10 card spade fit, uh, but it looks like we took our tricks and that's what counts. But yeah, with a lot of low clubs in North's hand, it wasn't going anywhere on that Queen of Hearts. So there it is, um, 100 should be good, uh, but everybody else is bidding that game as well. Uh, North has a lot of shape, ace, king, fifth, ace, fifth, and the Queen of Diamonds, and uh, South with also five spades. They're not going to stop short of four. So on this hand, I've got an opening bid if it comes around to me. I have a 16 count. In fourth seat, we play one to Trump is 15 to 17, so my bid is one to Trump if it gets passed around to me. So, uh, Yes, David is, is carefully analyzing his hand right now um, and deciding what to bid. In the meantime, I'll take a sip of water. Two spades, interesting. If it gets passed around to me, I have to bid two no Trump to show my strength, and then partner will have some choices to make. If he has values, he'll go three no. I would like a little bit more in the spade suit to bid uh, no trump here, but um, with my values and the fact that I don't really have a suit that I just want to bid, I'll just go to no trump here, and then we'll see. There's no reason for South to not lead a spade against no trump, so my king will win a trick regardless of the position of an ace. Now the other question is, do we play transfers here? And if partner bids three hearts, that's not a transfer. That's what I will say. If partner bids three clubs, maybe that's something like statement. I don't know. He's wondering exactly the same thing. <laughs> Come on, three spades. Sacrifice against Duno Trump, won't you? But uh, you rarely take somebody out of a Tuno Trump contract. This is going to be the contract. I'm going to get a spade lead. Partner's not going to have very much, and I'm going to need to take eight tricks. Now, I wonder... Well, North is taking her time to uh, come up with a bid. Alad will probably not psych a 3 no, but he might psych it in response to a preempt. So, a common tactical play is to bid 3 no Trump in response to your partner's preempt. And often that can deter your opponents from finding their game uh, if they think you're strong and they pass with middling values. So David did not lead a spade. That tells me David's got the ace queen or something like that. David led a heart. But the good news is that also leads into my tennis. Alad's 10 fourth of spades is also very helpful. That's an additional stopper. So I might lose three spade tricks but I'll have that suit stopped and I'll have to give up the ace of clubs as well. But I should take four club tricks, two heart tricks, two diamond tricks, and then maybe a spade trick. So I might actually take nine tricks here. Uh, I expect uh, the king to come up here. If not, that'll tell me exactly where all the other high cards are, but that's the king. So I could duck, uh, which would not be good if, if David has the ace of clubs. So I have to win this now and then knock out the ace of uh, clubs right away. That looks like a singleton eight.
So Anne will probably switch to spades, given that her partner bit a week too, but she did not. And that's interesting. So I could hold up a round in hearts, and that's not necessarily a bad move. If she continues hearts, I might have end play possibilities here. And I think she will continue hearts. So David probably had three hearts. That means that with six spades and three hearts and what looks like one club, he'll have three diamonds. I might be able to score an end play here. So let's try that. I'm going to take my club tricks, throwing cards from Demi, and then we'll see what David discards. He should still have six spades in his hand, uh, so we'll be counting carefully. So that's uh, one spade gone. He's got five left. That's one diamond, two diamonds, and here, uh, I'll throw the low diamond from dummy. Now, if David started with honor third and diamonds, I now have a finessable position, but I don't think he did. So uh, I expect David to still be holding quite a few spades, in which case, um, I might not be able to pull off this squeeze. Now, if Anne had a spade honor, I could pin it by playing the king of spades here. Uh, what I might decide to do is play a diamond up to the king and see what happens. I also haven't seen the 13th heart appear. So let's see uh, if David will follow suit here. So he does not. So he had six spades, four hearts, one club, two diamonds. Here, um, if I play a spade out, I risk having David win four spade tricks. If I play a diamond, maybe not. If I can pin the 10 of spades or the jack of spades, then I can pin it anyway. So I'll play my diamond up to the ace and then play the king of spades, hoping that I fell a uh, jack or queen of spades from north. Nope, game over. So that's eight tricks. Um, I think David did well not to lead a spade there because that would have cost him a trick. If I look at the double dummy result, um, you can see that the heart lead was key. A spade lead cost a trick, uh, and Al, it agrees. So you can see what other people did. One of Trump is good, but it's not great um, because other people took more tricks and no Trump. So here, third seat, five spades. I'm opening one spade with 10 points. I'd open it with worse, but uh, with an ace-king and a king and a five-card major suit, you open the bidding. Uh, I've got two tens and two nines as well for what it's worth. So Alan's bidding two spades here, purely a competitive bid, and uh, I hope that we get passed out in two spades, but uh, we'll see. If north bids hearts, then I have some defense too. So I get to play two spades. I don't know what David's going to lead here, but uh, we'll see. Queen of clubs. Okay. What do I have? I have a couple potential spade losers, a couple potential heart losers. I've got a couple clubs that probably I need to rough, and then a couple diamond potential losers. I don't think I'm going to be able to set up those hearts. So um, my best line, I think, will involve me trumping the uh, clubs. Unfortunately, if I try to trump the fourth round of clubs, I could get over-trumped. So I am concerned about that. I need to be careful about how I time the hand, uh, because if I'm playing for three two spades, then... I don't want them to draw all my trumps away, but I also don't want uh, to have trouble getting back to my hand to trump the second club. So what I might do is trump a club and then play a heart to the king. If that loses, I worry about getting over roughed, but in, in, if the spades are the friendly kind of... Okay, so that 10 is telling. I know where the jack is. 
And now I know where the eight is. So it's good because I think North now has four clubs. David has uh, the three clubs. So I'm not worried about uh, David uh, roughing in. I am going to, I guess I have to decide if I want to cash my ace of spades first. I think that probably I want to discourage David from trumping. So I will keep the ace of spades and dummy as I rough a club. So Anne's thinking, Anne probably has the ace of hearts here. I'm going to win my king, hopefully, and then try to trump another club. So David trumped small, which is interesting. It doesn't force the ace out of me. Um, I'm not sure exactly what holding he would do that with, but if he had short spades, you might consider roughing in any case. The queen of spades is interesting because uh, the king and the jack are both out, but Anne could have either of those. So I don't want to underlead my king of diamonds, so I'll just play a heart to my nine. A Anne probably has both. She probably has the ace, but not the queen. I don't know if she would have thought about it if she had the queen. So that ten of hearts is worrisome. If hearts are three, three, I'm happy. But if they're four, two, and Anne has four to the queen, then I might actually end up losing a couple spades if they get to cash their trumps separately. Anne's out of clubs. Uh, she's not going to play a spade unless she has two high spades. So the five of hearts here is telling me that... What is it telling me? She's not playing the queen of hearts. Would she play the queen if she had it? Yeah. So that's good. So here I need to get out a spade. They split nicely, so that's good. And then I have no choice but to take this diamond finesse, which I think is going to lose. And then I have to lose another diamond. And then I have the rest. So uh, I'll let her play it out, but I have two more tricks. So uh, nine tricks in spades is going to be a good score, but I expect it to be a common score as well. It's not going to be a rare result. So uh, we are moved to the next round. So that was a very fast end of round, and uh, I think it's probably because we were the last table to finish. doesn't surprise me because my opponents on that round were a little more deliberate than usual. So here I can decide if I want to bid two diamonds or one diamond because I have to bid. I'm going to try two diamonds. Uh, it's preemptive, and I know I'm concealing the four-card heart suit, but um, it's ambiguous what a double would mean by south. So here, um, the two spades bid shows five. Um, most people would play that as a forcing bid. Al, it's raising my diamonds, which is nice. He's vulnerable, so he's got something for his bid. And uh, I have some pretty nicely positioned honors if I even want to compete more. I know I've said my piece by preempting, but... Uh, Nothing wrong with overbidding, I would say. North probably has a spade fit. Alid is, is less, likely, less likely to compete with a powerful spade holding, so I expect North to jump in with uh, three spades. So we're playing against Karen and Jane. So a little bit of a slow pass. I think South has another bid, uh, no matter what, but... Uh, when you see a slow pass in these competitive situations, you always feel a little weird when somebody bids over it. But I'm sure South actually has values to bid three spades here. So, yes, uh, South probably should have trumped high to force out that ace. That way I end up losing two spade tricks instead of the one that I lost. I managed to avoid a spade loser by having South trump in with a low spade. Um, just a, you know, an easy mental mistake to make. So do I want to let them play four clubs here? That's interesting, because I bet we have play in four diamonds. On the other hand, it's a bit of a tight position to play four diamonds making or down one versus four clubs making exactly. Um, I don't think I can justify another bid here, but 
I think four clubs probably is going to make. So I'm going to pass, and I need to decide on my lead here. So Alad's probably got three diamonds for his bid. With south bidding spades and clubs, that could be a hand with five spades and three clubs, or five spades and four clubs. North didn't rebid clubs. I think south probably has a singleton diamond. My ace is going to cash. I don't think it's going to disappear because I have the king of hearts. I'm going to try to play a spade through south, and hopefully we'll be able to get a rough. So I am right about the fact that it's a singleton diamond here. Um, and with north not raising spades, I think partner probably has a spade card. Unfortunately, with my ten of spades being exposed here, um, there are positions where if North had the king and Alad had the, the queen, we could have cost ourselves a spade trick. But Alad's uh, five of spades is, uh, we play rainbow suit preference against the suit contract trick one. So that five is a middle card. He likes spades because um, I have the seven. Um, so here I'm going to win my ace and I'm going to play another spade. Uh, hopefully Alad has the king and I'm pretty sure he does because he encouraged there. And if he does, he has a choice to make. He can either play hearts, or he can play another spade. Interesting. So Alad had five spades. So I was hoping that the spade would cash. Unfortunately, it's not cashing. Uh, this could have cost us if partner has the ace of hearts. If he has the ace of hearts, though, I think he would have discouraged on the spade in order to get a heart shift. But here... Um, there's not much uh, else to the hand. They'll get their tricks in... Uh, they might win a, a high diamond or something like that. I have, a, I have a good king of hearts if they can't throw off hearts from dummy. Um, and if partner has the ace of hearts, we'll probably hold it to, uh, to four. I probably should not have thrown off a heart from my hand. I think that was a mistake. So if partner had... F no, I think I can just play a diamond here. I don't think north is out of uh, diamonds. So here, I'm on autopilot for the rest of the hand. Just comes down to seeing what hearts Alad holds. So my heart mistake, heart pitch was a mistake, I think, but I don't think it costs anything. I think they have enough trumps to uh, make the rest of the hand, to make the to, to take all the rest of the tricks, I should say. Unless Alad's got a club. Yeah, so I think North is holding that last uh, heart, but uh, also a trump, I think, maybe. Well, it was good. And then uh, I think a trump. Yeah. So it was played well. They made it. Um, they did miss five, which was one of the reasons I, I didn't want to bid four diamonds. So four diamonds is not a great contract. I'm just looking at it now. But if they have five, uh, if they have five clubs, then I don't want to push them into it or give them the possibility of doubling me. So I have a pass with, with only nine points. And uh, it's a maximum pass, though. So if partner manages to scrape up an, an opening bid, especially a, a major suit, then it's a very good hand. But south bidding spades isn't great for me, except maybe on defense. So we'll see if Alad can muster up an overcall. Um, I think Alad's probably a little bit less of a solid overcaller in this position than me. I uh, have uh, a little more discipline than him, but uh, we'll see. So two no trump here is for the miners. I do have a good holding in diamonds, and uh, the king queen of spades is good if he's got a doubleton spade. It's bad if he has a singleton. And uh, let me see. Here, if he's got a really good hand then does five diamonds have play? Maybe. I think I have to go three diamonds here um, because we could just have three losers in the majors off the bat. 
Um, we do play the two note trumpet shows pretty good values, but also sometimes he doesn't. So hopefully we'll take fewer than 11 tricks and diamonds. So we're not getting a spade lead. Uh, probably a trump or a heart, I think, are the most likely leads. And Alad again should be 5-5, five, five, but I've seen him do it with 5-4 and even 6-4. So it looks like he has the two spades, one hard hand, but he's also weak and he's 6-4 and his diamonds are terrible. Uh, I think he made a great bet. Uh, I uh, like it when my partner... Uh, challenges me uh, and this looks like a fun challenge so um, the good news is that I've got a challenge on my hands so a low spade shift is interesting I guess north has the ace I guess not so here um, the nine is holding the trick uh, north one or south Maybe holding five spades wants to set up the possibility of a rough and then an over rough, something like that. Uh, is there much I can do about that? I am very worried about the possibility of a very bad diamond break. Um, I am tempted to play the hand like a cross rough. The only problem with that is that if I try to cross rough spades, um, north is over trumping my spades. So if north has long hearts, I might have a cross rough if I can do it uh, in clubs and uh, in clubs and hearts. Uh, that's a guess, but I think it's probably better than hoping that um, I can pull Trump. So here, there's no ambiguity in this position. Um, North is uh, going to, or South is gonna play another spade to attack my king queen of spades and force me to Trump one of them. And I'm a little bit resigned to that. But if North has long diamonds, it's a trick that I probably had to lose anyway. So what I might do is just force North to trump while keeping the diamond length and dummy. And, and, and I'm not really playing this to make at this point. I'm, I'm hoping to go down uh, fewer than I could. I think North will play back a diamond. I think North is starting to smell the cross rough here, but that's not a diamond. It's a club. So I could throw off a heart or a spade. I think the spade is actually one I want to throw off here because I am afraid of uh, a spade coming through again. So I want to cross rough this. The problem is that I don't think it will hold. So the good news now is my dummy's good. Uh, the bad news is that I am very concerned about the diamond break. So south with three clubs and at least two hearts and at least five spades has a most three diamonds. Hopefully it's exactly three diamonds. If it's three diamonds the king, I can get out for down two. So that's not the king. Um, I think probably we've got King Jack over there, but I have to put the 10 in. Okay, so with f only the Jack of Diamonds outstanding, um, I'm going to trump in dummy, take out the Jack, and then get out for down one. That's the best I could have done, I think. You know what they say about down one. So I would love to see if my opponents actually had a contract there because we were very weak um, and we were playing in our 4-3 fit. But uh, yeah, it looks like they can make a few no-trump tricks. Double dummy, 
uh, Tuno Trump is making on a passive, what looks like a passive defense, or maybe an entry attacking defense, I'm not sure. So next hand, uh, partner's bidding a heart. Here I'm gonna bid two hearts if it gets to me. Uh, our one heart, two heart bid, uh, we'll do that with you know most hands with at least three hearts and five points. And I've got a bonus six card club suit, probably won't matter. So here, I'm still bidding two hearts. It's important to show partner your count in the suit. And he's not gonna think that I have a lot of points because we have options. If I have points, I can make fit jumps or limit raises or splinters or preemptive raises even if I've got more hearts. But two hearts here is fine. Now let's look back at this four clubs hand. Uh, four clubs, again, sitting in the middle. Um, there were people in game who went down and people in game who made it and people who took more tricks in four clubs. So we did about as well as we could have expected to. And then this one, um, not a lot of results in yet. Oh, it looks to be middling. So uh, a couple people went plus our way because they defended against our opponent's contracts who bid higher than three diamonds. That tells me that we probably bid correctly on the hand. Uh, and uh, well, we probably got a good result there, I should say, not necessarily bid correctly. Three clubs is an interesting bid here. It's a game try. I think over this sequence, it's a help suit game try. So what kind of help suit game try would he make? Or maybe it's lead directing, I don't know. But I am a little bit worried about them bidding and making four spades here because I am very weak and our points seem to be concentrated in the black suits. And I have a very bad six count, so I am not accepting any game try whether or not he wants help in clubs. So South is thinking here. South might go four spades. But I think three spades should just be a competitive bit here. And Alad, okay, he's going four hearts. So he has something. I don't know what it is, but this is that kind of hand where I might see South bid four spades here. Nope. Um, so I have help in clubs. I just don't have anything else. So we're down, but the good news is that they're making three spades and probably four spades. Sorry, they're making four spades and maybe five. Well, I'd say they're making four and a half spades. Um, so uh, this should be better than uh, three spades making, even if we're down one. And of course, oh shoot, we're down two. Um, are we vulnerable here? Sorry, uh, we are east-west and we are vulnerable. Minus 200 here is not good uh, because I think that most north-souths will not be in game. Here, Alad needs to decide uh, how he wants to play clubs from his hand. He'll almost certainly drop the queen or the jack here. Um, yeah, the queen. And then we're going to see the ace of diamonds, the king of diamonds, and I expect a low club. We might be down three, which would be bad. Um, so this is yikes. We're down two already. Uh, hopefully we can get out for down two. There's no club rough. Now, if there is a club rough, that means that they're making five spades at least. But here, yeah, it would have been a high low if it was from two, but it wasn't from two. Or anyway, so it's down two. Um, I don't blame partner for bidding that. I mean, I had my club help, but my hand was trash. So, so there you go. Um, they can make uh, what looks like to be four spades if they figure out the diamonds correctly. Um, and uh, would they? I don't actually know.
Anyway, we weren't sure exactly what our invite was. He accepted his own invitation. We went for minus, uh, oh, we weren't vulnerable, okay. Non-vulnerable, I'm happy we're down to, I'm not doubled. Um, it looks like that seems to be normal. And uh, this table took 11 tricks and spades. Um, I guess if you figure out the diamonds, you can throw off the, cl the club loser. If you guess the diamonds wrong, which is possible, uh, then you will, uh, then you can go down in four spades. So yeah, uh, okay, so he was doing some kind of invite, which I wouldn't have accepted anyway. I thought three clubs was a uh, help suit game try. But Owlet accepted his own invite, which can only be described as help suit. Uh, Ooh, so how are we doing? Let, let's check back in. So we're at 60%, which is good, uh, with uh, Two thirds of the way in through the game, about um, uh, sixty percent is good. It keeps us on our toes. Uh, four spades can go down, depending on how the diamonds are played. All right, who do we have here? We have Elaine and Bianqui, who is Steve. Elaine and Steve. Hi. So let's look at my hand. I've got an eight count, um, third seat red. I have king, queen, nine of hearts. I'm gonna open this two hearts if it gets around to me. Um, some people would not open a week too vulnerable with that suit quality, but I think it's fine third seat, certainly. Um, I would also make a weak jump over call. So here, um, I'm going to bid my weak two hearts. And uh, that might buy the contract. If South doesn't have a takeout double, then I could just be playing two hearts. Um, because I'm vulnerable, I don't know if I want that. Uh, so South spinning three diamonds, that's interesting. Um, my queen of diamonds is not going to win a trick then. Alad competes to three hearts, of course, because he loves to compete, and this is probably going to be the final contract. Um, but North is bidding three spades, which is interesting, because North is a passed hand. I think North must be playing South for quite a good overcall, and you should have a good overcall to bid at the three level. You need more than just a plain opening hand. And our opponents have now bid three suits that are not hearts. And uh, South has the miners, and North has spades. And North is taking preference to four diamonds, which I hope gets passed because I hope they miss a game. But now I have to decide what to lead. So uh, my choice of lead is having Alad lead because South started the diamonds. So Alad's leading a trump, which normally I'd be horrified at, but I am winning my queen of diamonds because the ace, king, small of diamonds are in dummy. So I need to decide what I want to do, and why didn't Alad lead hearts? If he had the ace of hearts, he'd probably lead a heart. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so I'm going to give preference to, um, I think, the, uh, 
I would say the uh, higher ranking suit, the hearts over clubs. Here, I'm going to play a quick little count card here, and that'll tell Alad what's going on in the spade suit. So Alad's playing the 10, that also looks like a count card. This tells me that the, I'm going to win this, and I am going to do my best to get rid of dummy's entry. Um, the problem is that the ace of diamonds is the entry. So I might need to knock the ace of diamonds out right away if south has ace, queen, doubleton, and spades. If south has that holding, then I need to make sure that the ace, queen, doubleton of spades doesn't get a chance to be unblocked for it. So I'm going to play back a diamond. I think this is correct. And no matter what south's other spade is, because I think south started with three, um, we'll have it stopped. If Alad had queen 10 of spades, he would have played the 10 on the first round as well. But in that case, we also have spades stopped. But then south can duck a spade. So I don't know exactly what's going on in the spade suit. It might have been, uh, yeah. The four of spades there is interesting. I think it's telling me that these spades are 3-3, three, three, and Alad probably doesn't have the queen of spades. So I think we block the suit uh, with our diamond play there. Um, as it turns out, I might have been able to get a, a rough. So Alad now is playing his ace of hearts. I expect that to win the trick. He'll play another heart, which will get trumped by Declara. And uh, South might run clubs at this point. And I need to make sure that I hold on to my Jack of Spades. Oh, there is a dummy entry. Interesting. So... South should be out of diamonds at this point. Um, ah, but the club spots are good. Looks like it's making. I wonder if I would have done better to play back a club and hope for a finesse. I think Declare would have played the ace of clubs at that point, though. Now, can this be beat? It's possible that it could have been beat, but uh, the answer is no. Um, or at least certainly not double dummy. Uh, on the play... Um, I actually could have beat it had I switched to a heart. That's interesting. I could have forced dummy. Um, so uh, I should get back to bidding here. I've got a 13 count, 10 to 15. Uh, two, two or more diamonds. We played 10 to 12 in a trump here. This is a little too strong for that. Like the... Yeah, interesting, because of course Declarer Double Dummy can win the Ace of Clubs and uh, proceed doing that. Uh, Declarer can rough out the Spade, for instance. It would be simple. So here I'm, I have a very happy pass over one no Trump. Um, I do have five clubs, but I would only bid five. Uh, I would only bid clubs here if I had uh, at least nine cards in the minors. Without nine cards in the minors. Uh, I can just happily pass with uh, a bad 13. So what help happened at other tables there? It's not a good board. Um, they did well to find their diamond spot, and uh, they competed to a level where uh, we couldn't compete over them. So I'm passing. I wonder if, if South will uh, bid over partners' pause. Um, and, and that's perfectly reasonable, but... Um, there you go. Alad's playing one of Trump. I'm dummy again. So I get to watch him work his magic. So, yeah. Uh, we're at 60% now, so that's good. But this one will drag us down a little bit, I think. Yeah, so we did well not to bid too much in hearts. Um, it looks like three hearts was down two at that table, but I'm sure that we can do better than that? Eh, probably not. 
So uh, four diamonds is, is what it is. Sometimes they bid to the spot that makes. Or you misread what you need to do to beat it. That is an interesting problem. I guess I didn't realize that I could force declare her there. Um, I have to do a lot of envisioning of the cards. I have to realize, hey, partner has the king of clubs and the eight of clubs, and uh, partner has the queen of spades. And I don't think I, I could have known all those things. I think my defense was perfectly reasonable. Uh, doing my best to cut off dummy. But uh, it was apparently the other hand I, I needed to cut off. So one of Trump's the contract. Um, what will Allah do? He'll take five club tricks, the ace of hearts, the king of spades. Um, if they let him, he'd take diamonds. Uh, the heart lead was good. He'll hold up a couple rounds. Um, hopefully... We won't get a spade shift. I think a spade shift might be dangerous. If he, uh, if another heart comes down, he'll throw off a club from his hand. I wonder if that king was doubleton. Yeah, it looks like that uh, the hearts are divided 6-2. That, that's my only explanation for the diamond shift here. So... Uh, What's uh, North showing up with? Um, North is a... Uh, who dealt this? I think North dealt. So North with a presumed six-card heart suit, the Queen Jack, and the Ace of Diamonds. Uh, I would play South for both the Ace of Spades and the other High Diamond for what it's worth. So we might be able to get away with... Um, uh, losing only two more tricks. And certainly Seth is a very happy favorite to all the other high diamond. Because North won the ace. North would have won the king from ace king. Um, yeah, you want South to cover there. Um, because if... Yeah, you don't want to cut off communications. But anyway. So here... We'll see who has the ace of spades. Oh, interesting. I'm not sure why South didn't continue uh, hearts then. Anyway, North probably has another. OK. So that was interesting. Uh, I guess with hearts 4-4, four, four, they must have decided that they needed to shift to a more fruitful suit to beat the contract. But um, there was no such suit. So one of Trump making seems to be a very normal result there. I've got a 12 count. I have to bid again, and it's going to be a nebulous diamond. So let's see. I am east, and I'm non-vulnerable, so I'm just going to open my nebulous diamond. Um, and I'm happy if partner has hearts, and if partner has spades, that's fine. So he's going to bid one spade. So I have an interesting situation here. Um, what are my possible shapes? So if I bid two hearts here, I think that would show this exact shape. Yeah, this bit is rare enough that um, we define it specifically to show this, this shape. So. Now Alad can make an intelligent decision as to where he wants to place the contract. And I don't think we're in a game force at this point. Uh, yeah, so the reason I, I'm 3, 4, 5, 1 is because I'm bidding heart showing 4, and I'm not showing a balanced hand, and I'm not raising spades, and I'm not bidding clubs, and I'm not rebidding diamonds. So Alad is bidding 4 spades, and he might have 5 spades. We'll see. Uh, but, you know, there's hands he would only have four, and hands he'd have six. So uh, how's my hand for being dummy in four spades? It's pretty good with a couple aces. He knows about my singleton, but it's a little unfortunate that my singleton is a king. If that king was in one of my other suits, my hand would be better. So, um, I don't know. Depending on Alad's shape, this could be good or bad. We'll see. So this is bad. Alad has... Uh, Strength in his short suits as well. So he's also got a singleton king. Um, 
and three low diamonds and I have five low diamonds. So if the diamonds don't get blocked, uh, we're down. Or sorry, if they, yeah, if they don't get blocked, we're down. If they find a diamond rough, we're down. Um, but if that doesn't happen, then we might make it, right? So, so here I expect North to play another diamond and for us to go down right away. But if North shifts, we have a shot. So North shifted, so we have a shot. Interesting. So Alad can uh, throw off the two of diamonds on the ace of hearts, rough a diamond, and then win. But he has to be careful about entries here because uh, the, uh, the suit might get blocked. He doesn't have a lot of tickets to dummy if he wants to uh, score his king of hearts in hand. So things went from bleak to being difficult. So let's see if Alad can manage. I wonder if he'll try to rough two clubs and dummy. That's one option. Uh, he might try a roughing finesse in hearts to dispose of some clubs or hearts. So obviously he has to, well, if he wants to do a roughing finesse in hearts, he can just use that king of hearts to the ace as an entry. But at this point, he needs to figure out what he wants to do with a club suit. And the fact that he won the king of spades in hand makes it tricky to rough two clubs and dummy. So um, I'm not sure exactly what Alad's plan is at that point, at this point. If I go back to trick one, when I was proclaiming doom on the hand, uh, no uh, jack of clubs or nine of clubs appeared. So we'll have to see what he's going to do. He might revert to the roughing finesse and hearts. Uh, what about setting up diamonds? Can that work? So he's, I think, trying to rough out the jack of clubs. That low club from north can be one of two things. It can either indicate that north started with five clubs and was leading fourth best, or north led a doubleton club. I think it's probably more likely that north led from a five-card club suit. If a jack appears here, we're happy. We're very happy. So now all we need are three two spades and nothing awful in hearts. So uh, looks like we might get our wish. Or maybe not. So close and yet so far. I, uh, I thought this had a shot, but it looks like there's nothing that Alad can do to avoid the uh, inevitable Trump loser at this point. Alad playing the diamond to hopefully get somebody to trump. Uh, but Alad has to, of course, trump, then play the queen of spades, and then the ten of clubs to force the other high trump out. I think south has ten nine or something. Yeah, so. Can't do anything about this one. And the roughing finesse would not have worked. So yeah, being in four spades was not great on this hand. Um, lots of wasted honors for us there. But I guess the other table that played that hand also bid up to four spades. So let's check back to the four diamonds hand. Looks like the rest of the results have come in. Four diamonds making didn't end up being good because of people going down in different denominations with their cards. Board 17, uh, 90 ended up being also not very good because of uh, one more trick and one more trump or clubs making three or overbidding by the opponents. And then this one, um, if anybody stops short, of game and manages to make their contract, that'll be bad for us as well. So I expect us to drop quite a bit from the 60%. We'll have a little bit of ground to make up in the last couple of rounds if we want a shot at winning this. With five minutes left to go in the round, yeah, we'll see. Hmm. You know what? Actually, I think Alad can make that double dummy once the jack of spades gets played. So Alad uh, lost three tricks off the top, and then 
No, the Jack of Spades doesn't do it because uh, I think Alad will then be unable to rough the clubs or something like that. Yeah, he, he, he would have to waste the Ace of Spades if he wanted to keep the Spade Venetian, and he doesn't have the entries. So, um, but of course, playing the Queen of Hearts would have been fatal because the Queen of Hearts play, uh, do I have to of course that? I don't think that's obvious. Why does the Queen of Hearts hurt? Um, because you have to do some work to avoid a Spade loser still. I think it's, it's a... Uh, yeah, you, you would need to win in dummy, discard a diamond, and then rough a diamond, rough a club, and then you play hearts from dummy, and you get to an end position where you're playing uh, a diamond, or you cash the queen of clubs, rough a club. You're playing a diamond off of dummy towards your um, king, queen, eight, seven. Uh, you have the uh, ace small in dummy, and... Uh, South has to trump because South has no more uh, non-diamonds and uh, should investigate line if for some reason shifts to instead of spade jack. Yeah, you get a really cool end play. Um, south is forced to trump. If south trumps high, you over trump, cross to the ace of spades, felling the jack, and then finesse back. If south trumps low, you over rough cheaply, and then um, you you make it. So it's actually a very beautiful end play of north cooperates. Um, but uh, bridge isn't like that. Your opponents are playing against you. Um, wait, no, you have to shorten your, your trump length in, do you have to shorten your trump length in hand? How do you do that? Oh, oh, do you have to trump a heart? Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. Pin in dummy, rough a heart winner, queen of clubs, rough a club, run hearts. Play diamond. South is forced to trump. If south trumps high, you over rough and cross to dummy, felling the spade jack and hook back. Hi, so who do we have here? We have Squeeze Me 7, who is Maggie, and uh, New Dawn, who is Joan. So we got Joan and Maggie, Margaret. Um, yeah, so let's play some hands. So I have an 11 count. It's uh, six clubs, four diamonds. Um, we play two clubs, it shows 11 to 15, six plus clubs. Yeah, um, I hope it's a good reputation and not a bad one. I mean, I'm looking at the result from the last round and it didn't look too pretty, but um, yeah. Looks like four spades down, one was in the middle. Um, other people are down in spades. Somebody did well to not get to the hand, or maybe pass it out, I'm not sure. Um, 
somebody made three spades good for them so i'm in fourth chair south is opening hearts um being vulnerable i have to decide if i want to compete over the two level and here okay so we do something specific where two hearts actually specifically shows spades and diamonds not spades and a minor because we would play three clubs shows spades and a minor and vulnerable he's got a good hand i actually really like bidding five diamonds here now hear me out am i insane yes but he's got a good hand i've got the king of hearts which might be worth a trick i've got a great diamond fit i'm just gonna bid five diamonds and smile <laughs> Oh, this is imps, right? No, match points? Yikes. Okay, so uh, we'll see if we're off three cashing aces, which is, you know, probably like a 70% chance. Uh, North's double shows something. The ace of clubs lead is interesting because uh, we're going to lose that. We're going to lose the ace of hearts. But I think we have the rest of the tricks unless they can find their club rough. So how do I avoid having them find their club rough? Well, I think probably I want to play low from dummy, and then something like the six from my hand. Maybe the four looks like from a doubleton four two. Playing too high of a club spot is probably a giveaway, uh, and I don't want to make it too easy on them. Uh, now, a heart shift might be interesting. I want a spade shift, not a heart. Uh, what club it is? Please don't trumpet. Yes, my lucky day. All right. Um, uh, pull trump and 11 tricks. Oh, shit. Oh, I just gave away. Uh, I, I have I have six. That was dumb. Yeah, I just throw off a heart and then I, I, I have winners. Yeah, I shouldn't claim in that situation. Uh, that was really bad. Bad form by me. We'll call it a misclick, but, but it, it was just bad bridge on my part. Yeah, I have I have the rest. <laughs> Interestingly, uh, BBO resolves claims a little bit differently than the rules of the ACBL. In BBO, if a claim is rejected, you play out the hand and you can see on defense your partner's cards, but you can't see, or, or, but if you're, and, and the declarer doesn't get that advantage. In BBO, if a claim is rejected, it just goes to the director. It, it, you're not supposed to play it out, so to speak. So five diamonds is good. Um, looks like other people missed the game. Uh, you need to find the diamond fit, which isn't easy always. So strong club, I've got zero to seven. Um, so I'm just going to bid one diamond. And uh, Allah has 16 plus points, artificial, though with um, a balanced 14 to 16, he would open one no trump. So he doesn't have a balanced 16. Uh, my hand is good if he has spades or clubs. It's bad otherwise. Um, so one heart shows hearts. I'm going to bid one spade to show spades. And then we'll see what his follow-up is. Um, so one spade is natural. It's forcing. It's for natural and forcing. So let's see.
Two diamonds. Uh, so we actually play two diamonds as canapé. He could have longer diamonds than hearts, and he might well have that. So I need to decide if I want to play in a 4-2 heart fit, or a 5-1 diamond fit, or a 4-1 diamond fit, or a 5-1 spade fit. Or I could just bid three clubs to say, this is my shape. I am sorry, partner. And uh, let him make the choice. And we are definitely not in any kind of game force here. So I think the three spades there is simple preference. I'm going to pass because uh, I think three spades is probably even a little bit aggressive here. Um, but we'll see. Yeah, I expect him to have no more than uh, two spades. But maybe, maybe he has three. Still, still not uh, super excited about the prospects for this one. So look, looks like, oh, he does have three spades, um, but he did have that uh, five diamonds, four hearts situation going on. Uh, definitely, we want to be in a spade part score. We'll see if three is too much. Uh, I think at three is a fair contract, uh, even if it ends up going down. The ace and then the nine is ominous. I wonder if another heart is going to come back and... Uh, I'll have to worry about the uh, king of spades being outstanding. If, for whatever reason, I do have to rough with the jack of spades, I think I'll probably just do that, just bite the bullet there. And then uh, we'll see if it gets over-trumped. Ah, shoot. So that's too bad. I would have liked to have not wasted my jack of spades, but I did. So at this point, I, I'm hoping that nothing more bad happens on his hand. Um, so the king of spades is a loser. I do have to lose the ace of clubs still. And now I'm worried about the ten of spades. So uh, there's no chance that this king will win. I expect to see another heart on the table. And perhaps the ten of spades will win a trick. If a heart is played and it holds then I'll know where the Ten of Spades is. And I'll take a finesse. If I don't see a heart, then I'll be confused, because both of them probably should have played hearts at some point. So here, I'm going to cash my Ace of Spades, and hopefully we'll see the Ten of Spades drop. If we don't, I'll play for down one. So that's the Ten of Spades, and now I need to decide um, in what order do I want to cash tricks. So I have two more pitches, um, the Queen of Hearts and the Diamonds. Um, I'm going to play the Queen of Hearts first, because if it gets trumped, you know, I'll get back to Diamonds later. So here, pitch the club. And here, I think my eight of spades is high over the low spade, and I will lose the ten of clubs at the end to some club spot. If only I discarded on that uh, heart back. It's too bad. Looks like uh, this is not going to be great, because most people just get to play one diamond. I can't pass with five five. Uh, but, but playing precision, I could never pass with that hand. So, who knows? Could have been worse. I could have been in four. I can make it double dummy if I just don't rough my heart winner. Um, the best defense is to play on spades by them. So, I'm going to open my diamond with my 15 count. Sorry, is that 16? Yeah, if I just let that heart go, I might be able to make it. Uh, the Ten of Spades is positioned nicely for me. 
Um, and then trumping ended up uh, costing me. Interestingly, if I throw off the 10 of clubs, I'm also down there. So it must be some set up the clubs by trumping and dummy situation. Uh, Alad's double shows exactly five to seven points. I need to decide how I want to play this. Um, I could pass. That'd be an interesting option. I wonder how many we can get one spade down. Well, I've got one, two, three, four. Hey. You know what? I'll play for plus 200. Why not? So we have the balance of power. I've got a good spade suit. Um, I've got a good diamond suit. Uh, Alad's got something somewhere. Uh, we might be able to beat this a couple tricks. If it's down two, it's better than a game we can make. And given that my points are mostly in spades and I've got a stiff heart, um, we are probably not making a game unless it's three no trump. And if it is three no trump, then we're beating one spade by a few. Jack of diamonds is interesting. Um, again, this could be a doubleton, but I'm more inclined to think it's a stiff. I think he'd probably play a spade otherwise. So he's ducking. That's an interesting option. Um, I wonder what I want Alad to play now. I don't really have a preference, so I'm just going to put in the four of diamonds. I just want, uh, I mean, I, I, I could have given Alan a ref, I suppose, but um, I don't really need to at this point. I don't know where the rest of Alan's cards are. If he shifts to a club, I'll hope he has the jack of clubs. If he shifts to a heart, it would probably be from the king of hearts. South might be ducking just to protect a tennis in, in hearts or something. So the eight of clubs is, is an attitude lead. I know he doesn't have the ace. I sort of have to hope that he has the jack of clubs at this point, but we'll see. Um, South is a considering winning this trick and dummy and taking a, a, a finesse, but would rather do this. So I want to actually, um, well, I, if, if there's an ace jack doubleton here, then uh, this is probably still fine. I'm going to discover the um, jack of clubs here because I know where the ace is. And the thing about that finesse is that it was always onside. Um, I always knew that it was going to work because um, the king is, is there as an entry. And the entry is better used for a club finesse that will remove a loser than a spade finesse, which ultimately I think South realizes will not. So I'm glad Alad's winning his 10 of spades here. But now he has to decide um, what he's going to continue. If he has the king of hearts, um, then we're no good. Um, that two of clubs might be from four clubs. If Alan started with four clubs and one diamond and two spades, then he might have six hearts. That's interesting. Um, that would be six hearts to the king, I'm guessing. Now, I don't need roughs, but maybe he does. We'll see how many tricks we can take here. So that uh, I can just put in the eight here, and that's winning the trick. South is going to trump. So Alad's jack was from a doubleton. Interesting. South is going to take um, probably another high. South has king small of spades. I wonder if I can score both of my ace and queen. Um, hmm. Do I force South to trump? Can South always trump something? I think so. I think it's best to put a heart through while I have the chance. Okay. 
So Alad has two diamonds, two spades, um, maybe four clubs and five hearts? Could be. So Alad won his king of hearts, that's good. I'm scoring my ace and queen of spades now, but I am concerned about any more. So I actually wanted him to play a club there to knock out the ace, because I think that Alad has the 13th club. South is down to just two spades and, and three hearts at this point. So I'm going to, um, I think, trump this, play my ace of spades, and then the ace of diamonds. And I have to hope that Alad has something like the jack of hearts. Well, he's shown up with four points. He needs at least uh, one jack, right? Yeah, he should have the jack of hearts. So that's good. It means we're getting our 200. That was fun. Now, of course, that's not as good as beating two spades by three tricks, but um, normally when you get a 200 in a part score hand, you're happy with it. So double dummy, what could have happened? Um, it looks like double dummy, it's a make, but it requires, I think, a little bit of um, good guessing with regard to the hearts. And uh, they did not guess correctly on the heart suit, unfortunately. I do think at that point, the jack of hearts was marked by the fact that the uh, that Al had made a double showing at least five points, but it is what it is. I am very surprised that people were bidding more than one spade uh, east-west, so somebody managed to bid more than that. And then three no trump by north, I don't know how that happens. Um, I'm fascinated, actually. It looks like um, a spade, a no trump, two hearts, three diamonds, which is very strange, which is natural, and then south bid three no trump. Uh, that was a little bit extreme. Um, I don't expect that to happen at other tables. But yeah, as you can see, we're down in one no trump or, or, or other no trumps, right? So um, sometimes defending is the right thing to do. And I think that was the perfect hand to play for doubling and getting them down one, getting plus 200, and having uh, the opponent's uh, worst case scenario make one doubled which isn't necessarily a top board, right? If, if they have, um, if you're down two in a contract at the other table, that might be worth less or worth more than them, than your direct opponents making one doubled. Hmm. Yeah, so that was a fun one to defend, though I think that had Declare guessed correctly, it could have um it could have made. Yeah, so Declare could have made it after the uh the club switch. I, I wonder if there was a point at which we sort of gave up the ghost. No, I don't think so. Uh, the club was actually good for the opponent, but um, a diamond would have been best, as it turns out. I don't know if, if that was a swinging it. I thought I thought it was a good way to, to guarantee a few match points. As you can see, 
everybody's down. We just were smart enough to leave the double in. Okay, so. It looks like our opponents from the first round are our opponents in the last round again. So that's interesting. I wonder why. Probably a pair dropped out or very strange movement. Alad making a takeout double of one spade here means that I should bid two hearts when it's my chance. I would bid two hearts probably over a bid by North because we probably have a nine card heart fit and I want to be in that fit. If Alad has a singleton spade, then my hand's actually quite good. So uh, it all comes down to what Elad's doing. So I don't know if two clubs is forcing by their agreement, but I'm just going to bid two hearts. I think that describes my hand very nicely. Um, I don't expect that to be the final contract. And you can see four spades comes out. Oh, so that's what two clubs is. Three spades points. Three spades and six to ten points. And I have to decide if I want to sacrifice here. Um, a sacrifice might not be bad, but I will pass. And a heart lead is actually not really the best thing for my hand. On the other hand, it might not be bad if Alan's got a touching sequence, like king and queen. But a trump lead is actually what I wanted to see. Not that it's going to be that excellent here. I think that Seth can probably force his way to the clubs. If Alad started with at least three clubs, then South has a singleton. And then South will have to figure out how to set up that suit. The Queen of Hearts could be an entry. So that's the five of clubs. I don't know. Alad will give count here. Um, so I'll know what his count is. So he has three. So I think I'm just going to play low here. I'm not going to set that suit up. And I'm giving up a club trick, but I, I, I knew that Jack of Spades was an entry, and I didn't want that club suit setting up. But I am going to cover here. Interesting. Okay, so that was a doubleton. Um, low, high, doubleton. Do we play another club back? No, he's out. What about king of diamonds and a diamond? Why not that? Oh, this is good. I expect Alad to encourage, but I think we play that as, as asking for count. Um, on the other hand, I don't really care about his diamond count here, and he should probably realize that. On the other hand, I know he's the ace of diamonds, so I'm going to put the six of diamonds on the table, regardless of his card, and then play, hope that he keeps going. So here, I think technically he's showing an even number of diamonds, but I'm going to six of diamonds this. And Alad has some diamond holding. And if he plays back another diamond, I can beat Dummy's Trump. Hopefully he won't try a heart. A heart would be fatal. That's a, that's a very happy card for me to see. So I will Trump. And then I have to play a heart. Hopefully partner has the king. He might not. Um, I think that uh, is an entry. So now it's an entry. There you go. I think we defended that well. I wonder what the best line is, though, uh, because there's a way to make that hand. You just need to know what it is in advance, I think. Um, but it looks like um, it can't make, interestingly. We've got the two diamond winners, the ace of clubs, and then uh, if I take my ace of clubs, it actually makes...
Huh. You know, it's always funny when I defend hands correctly. I'm always surprised by myself. Uh, but, oh, looks like I could have beat it. Two tricks. Well, there you go. See, I'm not perfect after all. What would have been my best card at that point? Something that's not diamond, I guess. I think I can uh, kill dummy at that point. And then he has to play diamonds out of his hand. He might get tapped, something like that. So that seems to be a good one for us uh, because everybody else is going down. That's interesting. How is everybody else making this contract? Well, um, oh, well, they're going off to the races. I don't have anything to double for a lead. Yeah, when that ace of clubs comes down early, it makes the hand very, very easy. So the hold up was the right thing to do. Okay, so let's let, let's take a look at the opponent's bidding here. We've got a heart, two clubs, two diamonds, two hearts, three hearts. Um, so they're in a game force four no trump. Uh, five clubs is some kind of uh, probably key card response. One or four, six hearts. Pass, pass, pass. Partner on lead. I don't have anything to encourage. <clears throat> So I am 5-5. Five, five. South has diamonds. I don't know if either of them have spades. North has clubs. I wonder if we are going to beat this contract. I'll probably be able to tell better after the lead and after I see the dummy. So let's take stock here. My guess is seven is making at this point. Um, they did not ask for the queen of hearts. I would have asked for the queen of hearts and then hoped to find the king of clubs and then bid seven. Here, what I'm going to do is um, encourage or bid the, play the seven of spades. It's a suit preference card saying that I've got something in diamonds. Um, normally, they wouldn't be able to recognize that, and but Alad's awake. He will notice that. And Alad's probably going low high. So it's going to uh, be uh, probably a doubleton heart, something like that. So I am going to play um, six of spades. I think it's a more subtle card than the seven of diamonds. So it looks like... Uh, that's going to happen. Yep. Okay. I don't see any way that this loses another trick. So making seven, good job. Um, on a diamond lead, had he guessed wrong, for some reason, he could go down, but he's not that silly. So they did well to bid their slam. It's not a hard slam to bid. It's it's 14 opposite, um, what, 20? But people will miss slams. Uh, things happen. So so there you go. I'm 5-5 five, five in the majors. How do I bid this? Um, it's, uh, let me see. One spade, two hearts. Two spades, two hearts. I think it's one spade, two hearts for this shape. So we'll see what Alan's response is. It's a 1-0 no Trump. 1-0 no Trump uh, doesn't say anything about his uh, heart holding, but he's usually, you know, 13 to 15 balanced. I'm going to go two hearts. Now, we play reverse Flannery, and so I think he should be able to read this as 5-5. Uh, five, five. Maybe it's 6-4. I'm not sure. He's going two spades. Okay. So I know he can't have uh, nine cards in the minors. 
So I'm reading him for a spade fit. Um, I wonder if this is worth uh, inviting. I think this is probably close to an invite, but again, if partner doesn't have much in hearts, we've got three weak suits. Uh, I'm going to bid three spades, which I think probably would be sort of like an ask, an invite with focus on the Trump suit, uh, because that's really what I care about most at this point. Then he'll go four towards the top of his range with a couple cards and spades. Otherwise, he'll pass. Um, but he's going four, so I have to cross my fingers and hope that we're going to make this. We're going to be light on points, but I've got some shape, and I hope it works with his and not against his. And I really hope he has three spades. Please. 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 Yes. Oh, he also has three hearts. That's interesting. Okay. So the good news is that he has three hearts of the king. The bad news is that he has three spades of the king. And there's almost no way we can avoid uh, two spade losers. Is there a way we can avoid two spade losers? I think a missed defense would do the trick. Um, we can also, if we're lucky, avoid a second diamond loser. So what I'm going to do is put the 10 on there. And then if Eric shifts, I can throw off the jack of diamonds on the high club. No dice. So at this point, I don't think I have a choice but to play a heart up to a spade up to my king. I can decide how I want to play spades. Is there any chance of North jumping with the ace of spades? Um, if North has ace, jack, doubleton, maybe. <laughs> Yikes. I don't think this king is going to win, but it did win. Okay, so that's the queen of spades. And is there anything I can do to avoid a, another spade loser? Um, here. Oh, maybe. Well, um, uh, yeah, let's try roughing a club and seeing what happens. It's always fun to rough those clubs, eh? So I'm down, unfortunately. There was no way I was making that, but uh, I had fun playing it. All right, so that's it. That's the game. Uh, my headphones are dying, because um, of course that's what wireless headphones do, but um, that's the end of the game. We finished with a what probably is a 55% game. I don't think we did especially bad or especially good in the last round. Um, it looks like most people bid the slam. They, some people, somebody went down in six hearts, which is fantastic. Um, that board was good. Um, so that was a little, uh, boost. That was a little pushback, not too much. And then the last board I can't imagine is very good, uh, because we did get to a pushy game. Um, hearts isn't any better for what it's worth. So... If other people are in four hearts, that's fine, but it, it's 13 opposite eight, right? People are going to stop short of the game, and we're going to lose match points to those people. Uh, but 
I, uh, I had a good game. Uh, I'm going to be signing off now. I hope you enjoyed the stream. And whether you learned something or you just were bored and decided that you were on Twitch and you wanted to watch the bridge, then uh, I'm happy you had a good time. And uh, I'm going to be playing again uh, in streaming the Heart House game uh, on Tuesday. Uh, that's Tuesday, April, like, I don't know, 7th, whatever it is. And that's at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. If you want to tune in, uh, I'll be starting the stream just before then. And I think that uh, if you like watching me stream on Twitch or you like watching the VODs, then keep watching and uh, let me know. Uh, participate in the chat. Uh, and uh, I will uh, see you guys next time. All right.